Hey guys, Miami Manny here. Let me stop my timer to keep track of the time. Um, well, uh, just want to show you. Uh, showed I uh, presented my well now I published uh, my capstone presentation at least the PowerPoint. Figured I'd go ahead and uh, do the same thing with um, the 3D model I'm working on for my uh, capstone 2.0. Um, I think I might even restart it possibly. Uh, look at. CPU, it's killing it. So RAM's not so bad though. So um, this is my model, and of course you don't see much because I haven't enabled the layers much. Uh, if I actually enable all the layers at the same time, Google SketchUp will crash. I got so much in this little model. So uh, without further to do, um, well, let's start out with uh, simple stuff: bricks, walls, and if you, it looks very impressive and. Um, 3D model, um, X-ray mode to see these studs there. Really nice. Uh, let me see. I can go with the electrical outlet. I'm zoom into that. I'm trying. I'm zooming. I'm trying to zoom in by scrolling in, but uh, right now it, it it looks like it's too much for it. And I don't have an auto save feature on, so it's not that. You can see all that geometry. It looks nice. Let me take off x-ray because that's probably what's eating up the most and just get rid of the walls for now. I didn't create this model. Um, only things uh, I custom made. Uh, let me see. A lot. There's a lot that I didn't make. Uh, team viewer. Okay. So um, I think I made this shelving here but I didn't make the books. I think that was already there. Um, cabinet I definitely did not make. There might even be a watermark on it somewhere. No, I, I remember I used one cabin with, that had a watermark right in the corner uh, of the author who made it. Uh, the books, I, let me see, I took a picture and just stuck it on there. Came out nicely. So uh, right, let's back up and take a look at it. Now let me get rid of the electrical. It's the tiny little components that eat up uh, the processing power the most when uh, looking around it. Alright, so, uh, okay, let's go ahead and uh, enable the computers, the good stuff. So, uh, end devices here, got printer. Uh, this Cisco phone, I made it, and I even published it on the Google 3D Warehouse 7980 series video conferencing station simple little computer you can see the keyboard there it's nice and uh, let's see do cable patches so and uh, you you won't see anything connected the cable drops I found this hilarious I had to really compress this uh, for the phone the, the, the jacks there it's just super uh, compressed if you can see it I, I find that funny but uh... It, this was more just for demonstrative purposes here you can see the keystone uh... where the jack is it plugging in showed everything Let's see do the wires inside um, i still need to fix the actual colors um, i tried putting in a stripe but um... as you can see didn't come out so well and uh, let's go into x-ray and look at normal colors you can see uh, little wires going on there it's really cool let me see. I have to get at a certain angle sometimes otherwise it's trying to x-ray through it uh, yeah very detailed very detailed let's get out of x-ray mode let's see how much time have I eaten? I've already eaten 5 minutes uh, and I just want to keep this 10 minute video just show you a little browse around maybe I'll make another video of the second floor Let's see and get rid of the construction just have the drywalls going on got my cubicles, my standard cubicle and nothing outside the office uh, when uh, you enable the end devices uh, 
see typical everyone has a normal cell normal Cisco phone um, I did not create this model this model was already there I believe actually I'm not even sure I might have made it I have to check the 3d warehouse if you see my name on it Miami Manny or um, Manny Rees um, it's mine all right so this is my table here let me uh, enable the patches and even the drops again so ordinary table no first of all it has a Cisco conference station here yeah this is a model I made not the best but eh, I got it in and uh, you can see that it's a raised platform and why is it raised because it's got cables going underneath it. Let me get rid of the conduit so you can see. Yeah, ceiling HVAC, conduits, conduits. Oh, must be here. Yeah, conduit ceiling and just all the conduits. Get rid of them for a minute. And you can see it's lagging. Uh, cable runs. And cable runs through the table. Wow using up a lot of processing power so out of that floor you can see all the cables hook up to the drops there I even got the studs underneath the floor to show it raised because you couldn't run that through a uh, concrete I mean I suppose you could but uh, I better I think it's better in terms of construction to do it that way oh see what I mean showing too much geometry it gets unresponsive one way is to, to just to zoom into a spot and uh, uncheck these to some degree okay uh. let's see what else in the model I have to show you before I have to end this video in two minutes get my walls back up Let's see it's got a kitchen area here and mind you I use components so um, it's not like I'm repeating the geometry over and over again the geometry is in one place and um, here let me show you what I'm talking about let me uh, show the furniture here the, the tables is a good example See, I don't have, uh, I didn't just copy and paste these. It's a component that's repeated over and over again. So if I move this chair, for example, I move all the chairs because there's only one set of geometry and it's copied within these uh, blue area boxes, which are just called a component. Don't know if you can hear that. That's my fan and crying out in pain in the background. And uh, I suppose uh, I can show you one last thing, uh, my shelves, which uh, here is green. This is supposed to be a warehouse. And the pallets and the shelving. And the shelving takes up a lot of memory. And zoom in. That's not so bad. I got ceiling rails, and that sucks up a ton of memory. Um, I don't know what I was thinking when I set it up. Uh, let me get rid of these because it's sucking up memory now. And setting up the wireless for that um, metal actually um, screws up wireless quite badly. So um, I have to put ac uh, wireless antennas all over there. Probably directional antennas. So uh, between each shelf. I was I going to show you? Yeah, the ceiling rails. Uh, let me zoom in before I do that. The ceiling rail. And you can see uh, this is the rail that would go on the ceiling. And I uh, have to be careful because it's got all those holes. And a uh, uh, picture if you're doing Blender, it's a bunch of vertices. Okay, I just got a minute left. Maybe show the HVAC system. Because I want to show the difficulty of cabling through the ceiling, all these interferences that you have to deal with see the air conditioning system there alright so uh, that should end this video I suppose I'll show the second floor and uh, that video will be rather short I guess